Hello everyone, welcome to Dental Mate. In this video, we'll be talking about enamel lamellae. So let's get started. So what is enamel lamellae? These are basically narrow leaf-like structures which are seen in the transverse section of enamel and they appear as cracks. Okay. The enamel lamellae, they extend from the enamel surface and they go towards the DEJ. Something like this. They run transversely, so they are seen in the cross section of the tooth and they are present more in the cervical half of the tooth as compared to the coronal half. See, if we talk about the reason as to why are enamel lamellae seen, then we can say that the enamel lamellae, it represents the areas of improper mineralization of the enamel matrix, which is due to the failure of removal of the organic matrix and water during mineralization. See, what happens during the enamel matrix formation is, first of all, the enamel matrix is being laid down and then mineralization occurs. Okay. Now we know that the enamel cracks or the enamel lamellae are depicting the areas of improper mineralization. This means that while the formation of enamel lamellae, what happens is the uh, means there is a failure of the uh, of the removal of the organic contents and the water from the enamel matrix due to which mineralization is not taking place. Okay resulting in the formation of enamel cracks. Now, if we talk about the types of enamel lamellae, so it could be classified under two heads. First of all, based on the time of development and based on the nature or content of the defect. Based on time of development, it could be of two types. One is the pre-eruptive lamellae and second is the post-eruptive lamellae. Pre-eruptive formed before the eruption of tooth, post-eruptive after the eruption of tooth. See, in pre-eruptive lamellae what happens is, see this is basically formed due to the stress or tension which is created during the enamel formation. When the rod crosses the regions of stress or tension, they may remain hypocalcified or uncalcified. Okay. Because of the degree of stress, what happens is the rods which are crossing these areas, they remain hypocalcified or uncalcified. Now, these uncalcified regions, they manifest as cracks. And sometimes these cracks, they can get filled with the surrounding cells. Okay. Next is the post-eruptive lamellae. The post-eruptive lamellae, they are formed due to physical or thermal insult to the tooth due to which the tooth is exposed and these cracks, they get filled with the organic matter from the saliva because these are the post-eruptive lamellae, okay? See, pre-eruptive lamellae, it is basically formed when any stress or tension is created during the enamel formation. Because of this stress or tension in the tooth, the enamel rod which crosses that region, it remains un or hypocalcified. And this particular area of the enamel rod, it gets filled with the surrounding cells. Okay. Whereas the post eruptive lamellae, the tooth is already erupted in the oral cavity. If there is any physical or thermal insult to which the tooth is exposed to, a crack is developed. Now, this crack, it gets filled with the organic matter from the saliva. These are the two types of lamellae, pre and post eruptive, based on the time of development. Next, if we talk about the types of enamel lamellae based on nature or content of the defect, it could be classified into three subtypes type 1, type 2, and type 3. Let us see what are these. See, first of all, type 1 and type 2, these are produced during the enamel formation. Whereas type 3, it is after the tooth eruption. Okay, we can say type 1 and 2 are pre-eruptive. Like they would come under pre-eruptive. And type 3, 
it would be under post eruptive so type 1 it basically consists of poorly calcified enamel rods these are restricted up to the enamel now what happens why are these why are they formed the crack like defects are formed see type 1 are poorly calcified enamel rods means during the process of mineralization crack like defects can be formed if that particular area of the enamel rod is hypocalcified or uncalcified these are restricted to enamel next coming on to type 2 type 2 may what happens because of the ongoing crystal growth there occurs an internal swelling or pressure in the tooth okay crystal growth ho rahi hai tooth ki jiski wajah se ek internal swelling ya fir pressure ho sakta hai tooth mein due to which there is early developmental faulting and the crack like defects are formed okay this is the type 2 now since these defects are formed after the eruption of the tooth they get filled with the cells of the uh during the eruption like uh, during the enamel formation before tooth eruption since the type 2 is formed during the enamel formation before the tooth eruption so they are getting filled with the surrounding cells okay see this is the crack like defect formed which is filled by the surrounding cells now what happens is the depth cells they degenerate because of the lack of nutrition and oxygen supply whereas the superficial cells they form honified cuticle or cementum like material if they are filled with the dentinal sac cells means surrounding cells jo hain wo agar dentinal sac cells hain if the surrounding cells are dentinal sac cells then these superficial cells they get converted into honified cuticle or cementum like material okay now this type 2 it may reach dj and it may cross the dj and reach dentine okay whereas the type 1 is restricted to enamel and the type 1 is simply poorly calcified enamel rods next if we talk about type 3 which is formed after the tooth eruption then this represents the crack on the enamel surface that is formed after the tooth eruption it is formed due to various physical or thermal insult the crack get filled with organic matter mainly from the saliva it can also reach dentine okay so type 1 will be restricted to enamel type 2 and 3 it may reach dentine after crossing the dj type 3 is formed after tooth eruption due to various thermal or physical insult it is filled with organic matter from the saliva type 2 is formed because of the early developmental faulting which occurs due to an internal swelling pressure created during the ongoing crystal growth so these are crack like defects they can cross dj and reach dentine whereas type 1 is poorly calcified enamel rods okay now if we talk about clinical consideration then what we can see is these are considered like enamel lamellae or enamel cracks we can say they are considered as weak points in the enamel which may allow penetration of microorganisms and therefore they could be a point of dentinal caries initiation this is it about enamel lamellae do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel do hit the bell icon if you don't want to miss the latest updates stay tuned keep visiting thank you